Elon Musk and Tesla have had big expansion in 2022, but 2023 can bring another massive development to Tesla's factory portfolio. Despite opening gigafactories in Berlin and Shanghai, the United States still accounts for most Tesla vehicle sales worldwide as of today. As a result, Tesla may choose another North American location for its next factory, especially in light of the difficulties experienced by the Shanghai factory due to constant lockdowns and factory line updates, which have resulted in a decline in vehicle sales in China. During last week's shareholder meeting, Musk said that Tesla might eventually open up to 12 gigafactories worldwide. He also stated that the company would decide where to build a new gigafactory before the end of the year. When several of his followers shouted Canada as a potential site for a new office, Musk joked, I am part Canadian, perhaps I should. And it looks like it is happening right now. Tesla officials have met with Canada's federal prime minister, François-Philippe Champagne, who was very opportunistic about the big Tesla facility in his country. Moreover, Tesla lobbyist registration from July suggests the business may seriously consider expanding into Canada. Tesla has updated its registration with Ontario's Office of the Integrity Commissioner to include a statement about how the company intends to work with the province's government to find industrial and advanced manufacturing facility prospects. According to Tesla's lobbyists, a plant of this kind would improve the competitiveness of Ontario and its potential to attract capital investment. The province of Ontario may not need much encouragement to establish a Tesla gigafactory on its territory. The area already has a flourishing car industry that feeds off Detroit. Plans for both Ford and GM already exist in the region. In April, the Canadian government put approximately $415 million into GM's two new factories in Ontario, one of which would make electric cars. According to the Minister of Economic Development for Ontario, they have attracted almost $16 billion in electric vehicle investments in the last 20 months by making Ontario a competitive business environment, including reducing the cost of doing business by $7 billion annually. In addition, they are constructing a whole supply chain there and want to attract even more international businesses in the future. Musk told investors on Friday that the company is looking at sites, but that it's also considering various site alternatives more widely in North America, meaning Canada, Mexico, and the United States. Tesla was noted by Electric Autonomy Canada as having updated its lobbying registration. The file signals a desire to collaborate with the Canadian government on a new facility. In light of its expanding operations in Canada, Tesla has offered a preview of the machines that construct the machine it produces. It would seem that the release of the new film coincided with the opening of a new Tesla plant in the nation. The mayor made the announcement instead of Tesla, as was the case with the new mega factory in California earlier this year. The mayor of Markham, Ontario, Frank Scarpitti, tweeted the news regarding the new factory. I am thrilled to reveal that Tesla Canada is joining our already powerful automotive and technology ecosystem by building a manufacturing plant in the city of Markham. It will be the first Tesla-branded factory in Canada, and it will create cutting-edge machinery for use in Tesla's global network of gigafactories, where batteries will be mass-produced. Aside from saying that it is for the production of batteries and it would create manufacturing equipment, he didn't provide any further information about the new plant. This seems like something Tesla's team in Hybar was already working on. In 2019, Tesla purchased Hybar Systems, an Ontario, Canada-based company, manufacturing equipment that's utilized in producing battery cells. The new building will be located in Markham, Ontario, only a short drive from the previous HQ in Richmond Hill, where the firm was before Tesla's acquisition. Tesla's staff seems to be growing, therefore, the company may relocate to a larger building in the area directly to the south of Toronto. To accommodate its plans to roll out massive battery cell production at many locations, 
Tesla is increasing its need for battery manufacturing equipment simultaneously with its growth. Before this time, Tesla inaugurated its first retail shop in Toronto, Canada. Customers had the freedom to design their own Tesla Model S on a large touchscreen at Tesla's new store, located in Yorkdale Shopping Center. Afterward, they could view their creation on an 85-inch video wall in the back of the store. Other features of the store include interactive displays and design studios. The company also informed its customers that the innovative interactive retail design would be available in Toronto. By locating its shops and showrooms in high-traffic areas, such as Yorkdale Shopping Center, Tesla is reimagining the process of purchasing a vehicle. Tesla planned that by the end of 2012, the company would have 34 facilities around the globe, including 24 in North America. Tesla will continue its retail network expansion to support the company's objective to engage and educate as many people as possible about the benefits of electric mobility. Through September of 2012, Tesla Model S had already received more than 13,200 reservations from customers all across the globe. Customers can place a reservation for a Model S online or at any of Tesla's retail outlets. With the passage of the Inflation Reduction Act by the U.S. Senate, Tesla may be hastening its search for domestic battery and car production facilities. The $430 billion measure might force automakers to utilize North American-sourced battery components to qualify for consumer tax credits for EV sales, thus barring them from using Chinese-made parts. Tesla's footprint in Canada is rising and becoming more and more prominent. Although Canada is a relatively small car market, its generous EV sales subsidies make it strategically significant for Tesla. The company recently produced a video on LinkedIn that focuses on its efforts in Canada. In the film, Tesla boasts about the Ontario team responsible for constructing the new specialized production equipment used in its plants across the globe. Although Tesla Canada does not manufacture finished automobiles, it does manufacture the equipment used in the assembly process. And Tesla's aim to produce its own battery cells relies heavily on its production staff. In addition to having a significant advanced battery research team in California, Tesla has partnered with Jeff Dunn's Battery Lab at Dalhousie University to establish a presence in Halifax, Nova Scotia. There are presently more than a dozen open roles at the firm, which has grown to almost 1,200 workers across Canada. Musk has recently said that the new plant might be announced before the end of the year and that the business has no plans to cease constructing new factories. Perhaps Tesla wanted to replicate the success it saw in Giga Texas when selecting a new location for its next production site in North America. Tesla continues to concentrate on developing electric automobiles and producing electric vehicle powertrain systems and components as a crucial component of its success formula. As of 2021, the corporation had a network of 438 shops and galleries, 100 service facilities, and more than 30,000 superchargers, also known as charging portals, spread out among over 3,100 sites. One of the company's defining characteristics is concentrating on a single product at a time. And even while Tesla is still producing the Model S, the company is releasing extra models to broaden its client base. Other variants include the sedan with a lower starting price called Tesla Model 3, an SUV-style vehicle called Tesla Model X, and a crossover vehicle called Tesla Model Y. Tesla is continually developing new products and services to adapt to the rapidly changing market conditions and to meet the needs of a more extensive variety of customers. Tesla has extended its operations abroad with sites in the United States of America, China, and now possibly Canada to maintain its position as a competitive player in the specialized market. Do you think Canada is a better option for the next Tesla Gigafactory compared to, say, Mexico? What are your thoughts on this matter? Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.